I'm literally, I'm the oldest millennial in the world. <laughs> and that's what's so dangerous about me in the sales world because I'm old enough to, like when I got in real estate, no Facebook, no Zillow, no nothing. There was literally just, they had just gotten MLS and, you know, emails and ML, I mean, all that was brand new. And so I had to build my business the way I'm telling you that I built my business. And, but then when the, you know, the technology revolution came through, I, I didn't, I ignored it for a while because I saw MySpace come and go. And I thought Facebook was another MySpace. It was going to come and go. And when it stayed, it stayed around and it blew up. Um, I was really late to the game. I didn't start using social media till 2000 to 2006, the end of 16 or so, beginning of 17 was my first Instagram post. Can you believe that? Like two and a half years ago, like I started YouTube and Instagram and, and building my Facebook and all that stuff two and a half years ago. I mean, that's really, really, really late to the game on, on, on that stuff. But, um, you know, you got to start somewhere, you know, and, well, and that's, late's that's better than nothing. Too, people who think, oh, my God, I, I haven't started yet. You know, I can't. I'm too late. I'm too late. But it's kind of like your, your philosophy there. Just hop in and start doing it because, you know, we're two and a half years later. And like you said, your stuff looks great. looks like you've been around forever. You're doing it all. So obviously it's back to the basics as far as selling. It's on the phones. It's just constant communication. How do you deal with just so much technology now being flooded into our kind of our environment or our sales process? Um, how, how are you adjusting to kind of the technology evolution? And what yeah. are you guys doing as far as dealing with your You know, your per personally, I just literally cherry pick what I want out of it. I don't have a CRM. Yeah, everybody's like, that what's that? What's your how do you make that decision where you know it's just it, cherry pick i'm sure you're bombarded every single day with this shiny object i I, I literally i literally don't even look at those okay. i literally just don't even look at it if i need something or i want to do something then i'll search okay what's the best app for this what's what do i do for this you know because see the difference in me and a lot of people is i'm i'm constantly evolving I'm constantly adapting, I'm constantly trying new things, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. And it's because I'm trying to find growth. I'm trying to find growth of new clients that want to buy or sell. I'm trying to find YouTube growth. I'm trying to find Instagram growth, Facebook growth. I'm trying to find growth. And I'm a growth hacker. I'm trying to find how, how do I get the most attention for the least amount of money? You know, how can I get to where I want to be and so I'm always trying new things. So I literally do not look at any shot. Like I, I don't have a CRM. Um, and so I just don't look at the shiny objects. And if I need to do something, I'll, I'll do it. I, 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 you know, I can, I can watch social media. I can scroll through the feed. I can see what other people are doing, you know, and I can say, oh, that looks cool. I want to try this. Or what if I did this, but did it better? Or what if I, you know what I mean? And so you follow people who are doing the kind of things you want to do and you kind of watch them and see how they're doing it. And it's not rocket science, you know, but back to your question, I'm, I'm not a big techie kind of guy. I, I, you know, I'm doing well on the social media platforms and, and I have a lot going on and I'm sure to the naked eye, it looks great, but you probably think I'm some tech wizard and stuff, which I probably am to a certain extent.